All right, guys, so here I have my current setup, which is the DW340. Uh, it says 300, but it's got the 340 LPH on there. Um, I was currently running this on a returnless setup um, using the stock fuel pressure regulator and all the stock lines and stuff like that. This is a custom Venturi setup that uh, I will be doing. This is the stock fuel pump. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in there. Um, so I made this um, custom with PTFE lines. Um, you see I have the radium Venturi along with the duckbill valve. Um, I had to cut up basically this is like a your fuel sending unit, I guess, with your pressure regulator, and I don't know how that works. I think this is actually the filter, because I did have to cut out quite a bit of that paper filter. You can see there's still some in there, but I don't think it's gonna be a big problem. So what I have to do is I have to basically retrofit this in there to fit, and then I have to attach all the necessary fuel lines that I have. As you can see, I have some more right there. I have some more PTFE lines in here. Um, and then I have all the parts. This is all out of the old basket. Um, and then I have some more clamps. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish building this. Um, there is a more detailed tutorial on how to do this on, um, Brian Paul's YouTube channel, which I'll link down below. So big shout out to him. He helped me a ton on, um, figuring out how to do this setup. And I'm hoping that it works because his was a BK1 and mine's a BK2. So there's a lot of major differences between these fuel baskets, um, but I think I was able to figure it out and work it out. So let me go ahead and finish this up and see if I can get it um, back in the car. Okay, so I finally got this all built up. It was a pain in the butt. Um, I did a lot of it off camera. Um, so I have the fuel leveler right there, the fuel pump. This is the Dechwartz fuel pump. Uh, those are both plugged in. As you can see, I have my fuel sending line to the fuel pump i have my siphon that goes down to the siphon side of the um, venturi and then this one i have the i don't exactly know what this side is called but this also goes down to the venturi down there which you can't really see but it's below the fuel sock so everything's all buttoned up in here um I gotta go ahead and put this back in the car. I do have, where is it? This is going to be a push clip um, and fitting that's gonna go on the fuel sending side, uh, which is, actually no, it's this one, sorry. So this is gonna go there. Um, so that can, basically, this can be a push clip onto this and then I'll have an and fitting going all the way to the front of the car. Okay guys, so this is the next part of the fuel system. Um, it's been a few months actually since I've touched the car. Um, and yeah, I know, don't, don't rag me on that. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I have to do more research on because I haven't really looked at the car in a while. I don't remember what I did. Um, but here we have a fuel pressure regulator from uh, Evil Energy that we're gonna be installing. Uh, a couple fittings we have our fuel filter right here fuel filter mount we have some disconnects some fittings um so we're going to be working on intake manifold side today um and running some lines down to the fuel basket because i already completed the fuel basket we have to redo the boost sensor wiring and vacuum sources um you guys know i already finished the turbo side that was the easy side ish easy ish um but yeah there's still quite some work to do to get this back up and running and let's hop into it okay so i know my engine bay is a mess but um so i finally have the right fitting um for the end of the fuel rail that goes right there so all i have to do is pop this clip out use some needle nose pliers to pull that out swap it with this Put the clip back in and then i should have an an fitting for the return line uh return line is actually going to go here on the fuel pressure regulator and then this is going to go back to the return line that we have on top of the um fuel basket 
and this side is actually going to get capped off. Um, I've already put this fitting on. Um, that's going to get direct fuel feed from right here to there. Um, although we do have to run this line down back to the fuel basket now too. So um, we're going to start that. I also got the correct fuel filter mount because originally I had ordered one that was too big. There. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have that new fitting installed. My first line is ran to the fuel pressure regulator, which will then go to this return, which I have to make. Um, I have the fuel feed line for the ethyl content sensor. Um, this is gonna go straight down to the fuel basket. And if we go in here to the car and get some light. So I have, this is for the return line. I don't know if I'm gonna need this 45 swivel, I was just messing around. Um, I have my push connector. That's gonna be for the fuel, um, for the fuel rail. And uh, this is just gonna be straight to the other side of the fuel basket. And then this is the fuel line that I'm gonna start running. However, let me go under the car. So I have the fuel filter mounted. However, they sent me the wrong AN fittings. I need a 6 AN to a 10 AN. So this is a 8 AN to 10 AN. Um, so they're gonna be sending me new ones. Um, so I can run the 6AN line to fuel filter to the front. So right now I'm at a stop point for today. And yeah, so this is going to be the end of today's video. I'll end up probably making a part two just because um, it's been a very long time since I got a video out to you guys. And I feel bad about that because I really want to be working on this thing a lot. But um, I have a lot of other stuff getting in the way right now. I'm currently moving. Oh, I got stuff on my nose. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I got a new car, I bought a Mazda CX-3, um, that is my girlfriend's car, um, and I think I am getting rid of the bike, so there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I just, I wanted to get something out to you guys, and I had a little bit of time to work on the car today, so I figured, you know, why not get out a video for you, so I hope you guys enjoyed, go ahead, give this video a like, comment down below, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time.